what is up youtube welcome back to the channel market monday special edition we're kind of going through my favorite more what i'm going to be doing to make coins this weekend so it's coin making methods my present strategy when i want to open presents and of course investments for ghost of madden past ghost of madden present zero chill and all that because we woke up this morning and ea threw a massive curve i had a whole thing planned about you know getting presents for cheap getting snow for cheap and all that and ea basically just throws the ltds into the reels which is good we thought that originally we thought we were gonna get more zero chill ltds which would make more sense but i guess they classify them as zero chill ltds they throw them in the reroll which of course makes the reroll more expensive which makes training and snow go up in price in terms of like a investment wise a key mix anything under 280k is a solid investment quentin spain i'm targeting to buy him actually saturday and i'm going to try to pick him up for under 310 pretty safe with that investment but yeah the thing that got inf impacted the most when it came to the ltds in rerolls is the snow and the training market snow went from about 130k for a 93 it's at about 140 right now so it didn't go up a ton but it, it still went up a good amount uh, an amount basically that affects the market when it comes to my strategy when it comes to presence and everything training also went from about 10 coins per training which of course set a uh, 91 overall goes for 70,000 coins it quick sells for 7,000 training well now they're going for 80,000 coins so it's about 11 coins per training for a any any card basically but a 91 now goes for around 78 79k instead of 70k you can still get some snipes you'll see i pretty much there is a Derek thomas that shows up for about 72,000 coins so it's not impossible to get snipes back down to 10 to 10 coins per but the snow in the training market was definitely the thing that got impacted the most when it came to ltds entering rerolls and it's kind of thrown a wrench in my entire strategy this entire video that's why it's coming a little late so i had to basically rethink everything go go in the lab you know look up some things and well we're gonna readjust we're gonna we're gonna adapt basically so when it comes to coin making methods you already know what i'm gonna be doing in terms of coin making methods this weekend I keep it simple. I keep it very black and white. It's going to be Team Builders 2. They're, they're the most consistent. It's the easiest coin making method. The only downside to Team Builders 2, it takes a little bit to sell the cards. I usually throw them up for about 12 hours and I just check their price every three to four hours. It might relist if it's not the cheapest up. But they do take a little bit to sell. But man, they cost about 25 to 27K to do. And you're going to be selling the card for 40K plus. It's 10K profit per card. The more time you put into the team builders too the more you're gonna make and then when it comes to other coin making methods because well i'm only one person i can't give you 10 coin making methods of a day basically use your youtube resources i'll throw their links in the description crazy Hot boy you know about his methods j money good is another youtuber that i love his he's very up to date and he knows what he's talking about when it comes to coin making methods you got to use your resources man i'm only one youtuber i'm not gonna say yeah only watch me only watch my videos because i don't really make the best not the best but i don't make the amount the quantity of actual coin making methods use your resources go on youtube every day man look up coin making methods see what kind of the best videos are watch them pick up just add to your toolbox when it comes to making coins now moving on to kind of the present strategy this was the thing that probably affected the video the most when it came to what i was going to talk about because of course going into friday i thought snow was going to be super cheap so it meant presents were going to be super cheap but now snow is really really expensive so i've kind of changed my thought process and my schedule of when i was actually gonna because of course you know me man present reroll i'm an addict like I, i'm always looking for the next reroll i want to spend a million coins on presents probably by the 25th again and well i was planning on opening a significant amount of presents this weekend but of course we got a curveball and now snow pretty much is going for 93 140k and the only problem i have with snow right now or presents that i'm thinking of is i don't really see a, a great window of when snow goes back down now we know the ltds were get removed from packs sunday morning so we kind of have this sunday monday tuesday window where there's no ltds and rerolls and ghosts are coming out on wednesday so when it comes to presents i think i'm gonna wait until monday probably monday's the best day but I'll at least wait till sunday see how the sunday market is monday's probably the day where i think snow would be the cheapest although the market won't be active the snow has kind of will have the less demand like the least amount of demand the entire week so when we get to wednesday we're gonna have ghosts and we'll ghost typically how you get ghosts is just through snow rerolls so snow is going to pretty much kind of have to go up when ghosts come out so the only kind of window i see when it comes to buying snow is going to be that kind of sunday monday tuesday monday probably being the best day and also why i don't wait till like thursday and friday you're like a christmas shopper 
basically trying to get christmas gifts for your family on the 23rd the 24th you're scrambling they're out of stock that's what it's going to be when it comes to presents on the 23rd and the 24th snow will go up because everyone is panicking trying to get those kind of last minute re-rolls in of course for when christmas morning comes out so that's kind of my present strategy what i'm really thinking about we're now going to be moving on into the kind of mutt schedule and investment portion of this video Moving on to the MUT schedule and investment portion of this video, we're going to be walking through the days and give us a kind of a deadline, our best buy windows, and I'm going to get into my top 10 investments for current players and legends. But the MUT schedule, we have Saturday, of course we have legends, they're being, they're getting announced as I'm recording this right now, it's 301, as I say these words, they've probably just been announced. Sunday, LTDs are removed from packs, which hopefully makes the snow and training market go down. Monday, Bow Nose comes out, which means training. Now it's going to go a little bit back up on Monday, Tuesday, Ghost Reveal in the morning, and then Ghost Release on Wednesday. So our deadline when it comes to Ghost of Madden Past and Ghost of Madden Present investments is going to be Monday night. The best days for any of these investments are going to be today, Friday, and probably Saturday just because the market is the most active, the most packs are being pulled, which makes snipes pretty much easier. But of course, you have till Monday night. So you got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday to pick up any of these core leads, any of these legends, any of these campus heroes. But that is the schedule. This is a make or break week for me when it comes to Madden because you know this we gotta be honest like this promo this entire content has hasn't been the most hasn't been the best it's been a little bit underwhelming but yeah hopping in into the core elites I don't have upgrades you can take a quick screenshot of this all these investments I know I'm gonna pass over quick all these cards are pretty much really good investments Kyler Murray team of the week Joe Mixon Gridiron Guardians are on there because we'll we'll get into that but take a screenshot of that any of those investments are good core elites that don't have upgrades they're more highly likely to get a card from Madden than one that already got one. It just, it's just the circle of life when it comes to Madden. So now we're going to be hopping into my top 10 current player investments. At number 10, we've got Patrick Ricard under 5,000 coins. And the only thing that's holding me back from Patrick Ricard being really in the top five is the fact that he has a high potential to get an out of position defensive tackle card. And when that happens, this core elite does not go into the power up, which makes it irrelevant. But if we get a fullback 93 when it comes to Ghost of Madden present or zero chill, Patrick Ricard's core elite will probably significantly go up as a really high ceiling because fullback is a rare position that rarely gets upgrades. At number nine, Ali Marpet under 6K. The reason I have this is the only offensive lineman I have on this top 10. Offensive linemen are really hard to predict as well. EA doesn't drop a lot of offensive linemen when it comes to content. Ali Marpet being the left guard, the highest left guard to not get a card. The reason I have this is because the highest left guard in the game right now is Quentin nelson but he's really really expensive so valley market if you were to get to a 93 a 94 of our car that's a little more reasonable in terms of price love his investment joe mixon grid iron guardians under 14k the only reason i really think i like joe mixon is the fact he did not get a team of the week the other day where he had a ton of points did not get a team of the week he only got a plus one i just feel i have a good feeling that joe mixon has a good chance you know how mad it is with the running backs they release so many running backs i have a good feeling he can get a ghost of madden present devin mccordy free safety just more of a core elite that doesn't have an upgrade there's not a lot of real skill positions that don't have upgrades and skill positions are the cards that Madden drops the most. So under 5K for Devin McCourty. Have a few of him. Only page you're seeing. Think that's kind of the only downside when it comes to Devin McCourty. At number 6, we are going to have Devontae Adams under 27K. Now, Devontae Adams would be a lot higher on this list, but his price is really hard to get. Last week, I was picking him up for 20K. I set a target price under 25K. But the hype for Devontae Adams just builds every week, and his quarterly has just been going up and up and up. And 88 overall for 30K isn't the best training per. So that's the only reason why he's probably... Probably not number one or number two is the price tag under 27k that's really steep for an 88 overall but if you could pick him up solid 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 bobby wagner probably the safest safest investment for me under 13k seahawks probably not going to make the playoffs so he's not in the running for a playoff card he's not in the running really he could get a team of the year but it's a little bit down the line it, it seems just like a safe option for a ghost of madden present under 13k for bobby wagner is a solid solid price number four dalvin cook under 9k the only kind of downside with Dalvin Cook is he could potentially getting a team of the week card, but he's the highest rated core elite running back to not get an upgrade in Madden. And we're going to see a ghost Madden present running back. I'm just hoping it's Dalvin Cook and not a card that already has basically a promo card in the game. So that's Dalvin Cook under 9K. Number three, Xavier Howard under 5K. This is kind of a doesn't have an upgrade is a good position and the price 5k for the highest rated cornerback that does not have an upgrade with how many cornerbacks get added into the game every week Xavier howard is a he won't be the best card let's be honest he won't be the best card 
but for 5k he's a no risk investment they'll probably triple go up to five go up to 15 go up to 20,000 coins at number two chris godwin and we're going to stay with the same thing it's more about the price and kind of the card route runner archetype is huge for wide receivers it's the best archetype in the game chris godwin under 3,000 coins love his investment he's been playing really good in real life he, he kind of just is a super low risk like if you don't have a lot of coins he's the guy to go for under 3k and then kyler murray at number one under 22,000 coins and the reason i love kyler murray is we've seen how cd lamb team of the week has been affected when he got a card we saw how lamar jackson when he got a blitz card how his team of the week was affected on the market team of the weeks are really rare in general kyler murray's from week one if you get him for under 22,000 coins He's steadily actually been rising over the past few weeks. Originally, he was like 17, 18K over Blitz. Now he's more around that 25K range. If you can pick him up for under 22K, I love him as an investment. He's going to skyrocket. He's really safe. He has no risk of kind of dropping below even 20,000 coins because he's not pulled that frequently. So now moving on into the legend aspect of this video. And this is where I actually am putting a majority of my investments in because I think Ghost of Madden Pass, we're going to get a lot more of them than any other type of content so take a screenshot on the screen those are kind of the legends that i think are going to get second upgrades some other type of cars not all going to be in this video but take a screenshot of that if you want to know but now at number 10 we're gonna have sean taylor under 85k would be a lot higher but when it comes to a set master sean taylor you can just put five ultimate kickoff players into the set for sean taylor which kind of caps his upside but sean taylor under 85k solid investment bruce matthews man under 33k 89 overall center he'd be higher but we just got a kevin maui or maui 95 95 overall center so bruce matthews under 33k is coming in at number nine really with all these legends by the way ghost of madden pass 80 percent of ghost of madden pass over the past three years have had a legend card previous in the game so that's why we're targeting our legends when it comes to ghost of madden pass investments mike vick under 115k and the reason mike vick is only at number eight and number seven is only at number seven it's just the price tag for the most expensive investment but they probably have the highest ceiling if michael vick were to get a ghost his price would shoot up because he'd become one of the best quarterbacks in the game. Charles Woodson, he's above Michael Vick at number seven just because of the Raiders theme team. Charles Woodson were to get Charles Woodson was the best corner in the game for about a month when he came out for the Raiders, for the Packers theme team. If he were to get a ghost of Madden passed for me, he'd be one of the top three corners in the game easily same as michael vick under 115,000 coins at number six we're not gonna be moving on to the more lower overall cards because they're more likely to get an upgrade since they haven't gotten one in a while demarcus Ware under 33k under 33k cowboys and broncos theme team for him solid solid investment i love picking up these 89 overall legends they're very likely to get a ghost of madden pass you can go back and look at madden 21 madden 20 madden 19 a lot of the day the month one legends typically got ghost of madden pass michael strahan same thing under 33k for him him and him and where him and him where and matthews really same price under 33k they don't have the greatest ceiling because they're not the best position and they don't have the amazing stats as the top as he's top four these top three do but under 33k for michael strahan jerry rice need i say more under 75k if he were to get a card probably the best receiver in the game with raiders niners seahawks he is on some of the best teams in the game as well as his stats his route running archetype under 75k for jerry rice at number three brian dawkins and now i need a check because he might he, i don't think he got a i don't think he got a legend oh my god he got a legend well this is super unfortunate but brian dawkins under 35k I'm happy. I've got a ton of Brian Dawkins. This is just ironic, man. Brian Dawkins, he got a legend card. Throw this one out the window. Send a Brian, Brian Dawkins, do Reggie White. Reggie White under 35K. LaDainian Tomlinson, number two, under 35K. Him and my number one are my favorite investments because Jets theme team. Jets theme team, one of the most popular theme teams when, when it comes to Madden. His ceiling is super high. One of the more popular players in NFL history, LaDainian Tomlinson under 35k sorry you know i'm a little pumped brian dawkins just got announced okay wow that's crazy all right at number one we got Darrell revis under 35k and the same thing as lt i mean i can i can talk all day about revis the only downside when it comes to revis is his height he's 511 which is a little short but jets theme team chiefs theme team pats and bucks amazing amazing investment really i, I really my my whole career my, my madden career basically is riding on darrell revis getting an upgrade but you might see some of the prices in the video like michael strain was 49k ladanian thomason 50k i'll show you guys 
it's really easy of course legends it's gonna be easier to pick these guys up saturday instead of friday instead of sunday because legend packs and all that but you can see pick these guys up they're super easy to get when it comes to snipes just chill on the market for 30 minutes you will get a few and then eventually i'm gonna show my binder off i have a ton i probably got like 20 revises 20 ladanian tomlinson's but yeah that's gonna be my binder and that's gonna be this video you guys are gonna laugh when I show Brian Dawkins, but yeah, that is gonna be this video. Market Monday, a ton of information. Go check out the YouTube channels I talked about earlier in this video. J Money Good, Crazy Apple E for coin making methods. All right, we got a you know an exciting weekend with LTDs now in the re rolls. We got Ghost coming out soon. It's gonna be kind of a an exciting couple of days. Some momentum. Well, hopefully we can gain some momentum when it comes to this promo. But that is gonna be all for this video, Market Monday special edition. I will see you guys on Saturday. I don't know if I'm gonna have a no money spent on Saturday or Sunday. I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do, but comment, like, subscribe. The link to the Discord is in the description. And until then, peace.